Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to EPFA Nation Stop 2019. Run from Italy and Ireland against Denmark. Dowling, and there's the pass to Dowling. Dowling going to take a shot. Audrey Keener across to Keezer. Keezer shot in. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our second match of the day, Ireland versus Denmark. We are coming to you live from the Paiulati Training Center. We are here in beautiful Nasula, Finland for Power Soccer Shop. I'm Tony Jackson. And two teams with plenty of international experience last met at the 2017 World Cup. We're back here once again. And We've had a chance to talk to the Irish training staff and word on the street is that Ireland have put in a lot of work since the World Cup and we should see a much tighter, much improved Ireland squad. And we'll have to see how Denmark does. Denmark, not the best showing at the 2017 World Cup, coming in ninth place. But this should be a good game here. Both teams very, again, very experienced and quality players on both sides. Uh, before we get started here, our officials for this match from England, Mark Carrison, the center official. Uh, our assistants from France, Thierry de Camp, and from Austria, Norden Sabovic. And our fourth official from France is Nicolas Balin. And our captains out there for the coin toss. And it looks like Denmark have won the toss. Kickoff slated for just a few moments from now. The Irish out there with their green, white, and orange and their noisemakers. It promises to be a loud atmosphere for this match.
Both teams out here warming up right now. Again, kickoff just a few moments away. Again, I want to thank everyone watching around the world on the Power Soccer Shop live stream, whether it is through our YouTube channel or our live stream channel. I want to thank you all for watching, especially those in the United States and South America. I know the hour is uh, not necessarily conducive to watching sports, but if you're if you're out in that area of the world, I want to thank you for being up late and joining us here. It is just after 11 a.m. here in Finland. about ready to go here. Teams now getting their final pep talk in before their match begins. 
Ireland. With a good showing at the, the last World Cup. Finishing in sixth place. And Denmark here, again, earlier, as I mentioned, finishing ninth, hoping to uh, increase their standing, at least in the uh, European zone, with an opportunity to go to Australia in 2021 for the next World Cup, looking to improve their finish from the last one. Denmark's starting four out on the pitch. Along with Ireland, let's go over the starting lineups for both sides. For Denmark in goal, number one, Mikael Jensen. Also on the floor, number seven, Mark Sørensen. In the middle, number 10, Kasper Pedersen. And here on our near side, number 11, Tobian Krarup. For Ireland. In goal, number 17, Patrick Flanagan. Also on the floor, number seven, Tom Donner. Joining him in the middle, the captain, number 10, Afa McNichol, and rounding out the Irish lineup, number three, Emer O'Sullivan. And you can hear the noise in the venue, the Irish and the Danish supporters really creating quite an atmosphere in here at the Paulati Training Center. We are now moments away from kickoff. Harrison calling Ireland to start play. Goalkeepers are ready. Referees are ready. And we are underway. The whistle is blown. Ireland, Denmark, underway here at the 2019 EPA Nations Cup. Referee calls a two on one violation on Denmark. And now Ireland with an indirect free kick. McNichol over to Donner. Donner with a shot saved by Jensen. Tom Donner gonna take the kick. Emer O'Sullivan down in the corner. The pass comes all the way across. Cut off by Peterson. Donner with the ball. Krarup trying to get away from Donner. 
Crado rips the ball away from Donner, but he recovers well. Crado, no one to pass to. That ball comes across. Now Sorensen's there. Sorensen with a shot, and he just misses. Corner kick coming up for Denmark. That ball comes across. Sorensen with a goal. Mark Sorensen puts Denmark up 1 0. Well executed play. And you'll see here, Ethan McNichol jumps the ball. And the Danish score. Fantastic start for Denmark. Now, can Ireland? Find some offense and equalize. That ball goes out of play for a Denmark goal kick. McNichol. Sorensen with the ball, the pass across, cut off by McNichol. Donner tries to chop it across the area, and now Krarup takes the ball. McNichol chases. McNichol nicely done to strip that ball away, and now Peterson. McNichol. McNichol gets a little bit of an advantage on Peterson, and now she's trying to drag him up the floor. Ball still in play, now it's out. It's going to be a kick in for Ireland. O'Sullivan, that pass across from Donner to McNichol. McNichol back down to Donner, but it's cut off by Southern Sin. Two on one violation. Indirect free kick coming up for Ireland. O'Sullivan backing out away from the Danish defense. McNichol over to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, the shot bounces around. The shot, ball still loose. O'Sullivan trying to find some space. O'Sullivan looking to create a little space there to kick out to McNichol. Nicely done by Peterson. And now he's going to run up the floor. That ball out of play off of Peterson. Kick in for Ireland coming up. Donner down to O'Sullivan. That ball comes across, and Denmark just going to let that one roll out to regain possession. Kick in coming up. McNichol, that ball off of Peterson. And Kraro just sends it out of play now. A kick in coming up for Ireland. And this is a pretty good spot for them. Let's see if they can find a leak in the Danish defense. O'Sullivan sitting at the far post waiting, hoping that ball makes its way through. Donner has a tight space to get that ball between McNichol and Sorensen. Now O'Sullivan making some space, and Flanagan's actually come up to nearly the center line. That ball goes off of Jensen. Now Krarup back over to Pedersen. Pedersen winding up for a 180 spin kick, and there it is off of Donner, and that's going out for a Denmark kick in. Seventh minute, and if you're just joining us, 
Denmark off a of Mark Sorensen goal. Lead 1-0. Peterson all the way across. Sorensen with a shot saved by Flanagan. Let's check that one one more time. Let's see if we can get a replay on that. That ball made it all the way across. And a good save by Patrick Flanagan. And now back to live action corner kick coming up for Denmark. That ball across, saved by McNichol and cleared out of the area. And although this is still a good position for Denmark, a, a little bit easier for Ireland to defend this. Let's see if uh, Peterson goes into the wall there. He does not. That ball touching off of Kradrup. And we're going to get a two-on-one violation. Indirect free kick for Denmark. Denmark trying to increase their lead here. And this is a great opportunity for them to do that. And it looks like they're setting up for a 180 spin kick for Peterson. Peterson with a shot. Peterson right off of Flanagan. And now the kick down to Sorensen. Sorensen across. Oh, that ball gets across. Crowded up with a goal. Well executed. Now, Ava McNichol turned her chair and opened up some space. Let's watch this again. You see McNichol turn, and that opens up just enough space for Crowded up to score. Denmark, two. Ireland, nil. Crowdrup now, the goal scorer, taking on O'Sullivan. The kick out, Peterson's there. Peterson looking to go across. It bounces off of McNichol. And now Peterson on a run down the floor. McNichol chasing the pass. Cut off by McNichol. That ball out of play. Kick in coming up for Denmark. Can Denmark go up three? Now McNichol leaving quite a lot of space behind her. I mean, she's good enough to close that off quickly, but let's see what happens here. That ball does get through again. Kladrup close to a two-on-one violation on Denmark. Actually, that's going to be a two-on-one violation on Ireland. O'Sullivan getting a little too close to the area as McNichol was coming up. And so Denmark really putting a lot of pressure on Ireland right now. And after speaking with the Ireland trainers, this is certainly... Not the way they thought their tournament was going to begin. Still plenty of time. We're only in the 10th minute right now, but still Ireland with a lot of work to do here as Denmark, again, putting on tons of pressure. Indirect free kick. Oh, Sorensen off the post. That could have been three right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch that one again. So close, a matter of inches. And now Peterson going to take another kick in. That ball all the way across Sorensen. Tries to deflect it on goal, and he does, but not a lot of power on it. Now Sorensen driving. And now McNichol clears the area. Two-on-one violation, almost called there on Denmark, but McNichol clears out for Ireland. That ball out of play, kicking coming up for Ireland.
12th minute here in the first half. And again, Denmark in control at the moment. McNichol across to Donner. Donner almost slammed into Peterson. Nicely done. Good work there. going to receive this kick. McNichol actually going to cut that one off. And it looks like Kradup's content with just letting it roll out of play. Ireland really having a lot of trouble right now generating some offense. They were, they were doing well at the beginning of the match, but once Denmark scored that first goal, that was really the, the end of the Irish attack, and they've been struggling ever since. Kick down Sorensen. That ball. Oh, goes right behind Flanagan. Oh, my goodness. Another tense moment for the Irish defense. And we've got a corner kick now for Denmark. Ball being moved to that top corner of the triangle there. A lot of teams don't use that bottom corner, but it does provide a different angle of attack on corner kicks. Let's see what Denmark does here. That ball comes across, easily cut off by McNichol. Krarup keeps it in the attacking area for Denmark. That ball out of play, kick in for Ireland. Let's see if Ireland can regain some of that lost momentum. McNichol up to Donner. Cut off by Sorensen, and that's going to be a two-on-one violation on Denmark. Donner, that ball slides right through. Jensen makes a play on it. Kraudrup, nice move to get around Donner. The pass out to Peterson. Nicely done. Denmark now on the counterattack. Oh, dangerous play by Flanagan. The pass across. O'Sullivan winding up. Oh, and she hesitated just a moment and missed that spin kick. An intended pass for Tom Donner all the way across the pitch. But it's going to be Ireland ball. Krarup cuts that ball off. Very tight spacing for Ireland here. O'Sullivan trying to hold on to that ball. Crowd up trying to turn her around, but Emer O'Sullivan does very well. O'Sullivan, the pass across. McNichol with a shot. Ava McNichol just wide of the post. Let's check that one out real quick. McNichol with a good opportunity here. And you see a good pass from Emer O'Sullivan all the way up to McNichol, and she just couldn't quite get enough of it, but Philka Peterson was right there as well, so. Even if that ball was on target, looked like Denmark was going to save that one. And that ball's going to roll out for a goal kick. Seventeenth minute, Denmark up two nil. Kradrup 
with the ball driving in towards the Irish defense. Patrick Flanagan clears the area. Denmark looking for that third goal. Oh, and that ball out for a corner kick. You saw Casper Poker Peterson was trying to change the angle of his kick and potentially slide it behind Aetha McNichol. He didn't quite get what he wanted, but he got a corner kick out of it. And so now Denmark attacking again. That ball off of McNichol, out of play, kick in. Once again, coming up for Denmark. Peterson. McNichol. Oh, McNichol keeps that ball in play. It's still in. And now the official says it's out. Kicking coming up for Ireland. About 90 seconds plus any added time left here in the first half. And Denmark in control. Ball right here at the touchline. Donner trying to reposition to drive down the floor. Nicely done by Tom Donner. Donner, the kick out too far away from McNichol. And now Sorensen's got it. And that ball out of play. And Denmark not happy about that call. That one really could have gone either way. And you can see the official it was a little bit hesitant to make a call. But it, the uh, ultimate judgment went in favor of Ireland. And it looks like McNichol needs a little bit of adjustment there. Kind of slid out. Approaching the 20th minute. Flanagan forced to make a play on the ball. And it's out in favor of Denmark. Trying to see if I can get any kind of signal from the fourth official about the amount of added time here in the first half. Sarenson. Over to Peterson, nicely done, good passing. Oh, and there's a little bit of contact, play continues. Ball out of play now, kick in for Ireland. We're gonna get a foul on Denmark. A little bit of contact, so direct free kick coming up. Donner wrestles that ball away from Sorensen, and now the pass across to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan sends the ball on target. And there is the halftime whistle. Mark Harrison blows it. It is 2-0. Denmark over Ireland. We're going to take a break. When we come back, the second half, you were watching the 2019 EPFA Nations Cup.
Substitution, Denmark out, number 11, Turbjörn Kraru, and in number 9, Farzad Nabizada. We are about to begin the second half of Ireland and Denmark for Power Soccer Shop. I'm Tony Jackson. It is the 2019 EPFA Nations Cup, a ticket to the 2021 World Cup on the line, as well as the right to be called the champion of Europe. Ireland looking to climb out of this 2-0 deficit as Denmark really came out and and asserted their will on Ireland in the first half. Let's see if they make any tactical changes in the second half. Denmark starts things off here. O'Sullivan with the ball. O'Sullivan taking on Navi Zada. She gets around him. And a little too heavy on the touch for O'Sullivan. And that ball's going to go out of play. Kick in for Denmark. McNichol tries to send that ball into the Danish goal area now. McNichol trying to find some space. McNichol looking to kick out, but no one really there. O'Sullivan now going to take a shot off of Peterson. The pass to McNichol. McNichol the shot. Much better chance for Ireland there. They started the first half in a similar fashion, but they kind of died out. Let's see if they can keep this going in the second half here. You can see McNichol didn't miss that one by much. Not a good touch by Sorensen, and now a kick in coming up for Ireland. Sorensen right there to cut that one off. Not very well executed by Ireland there. Sorensen, that ball across, McNichol. Donner tried to go over to O'Sullivan. Nabizada's there for Denmark. Farzad Nabizada taking on Tom Donner. Heavy contact between Navizada and Donner. The kick out, o O'Sullivan now with the ball. O'Sullivan off of Sorensen. O'Sullivan's the last to touch it now. Sorensen and McNichol. That ball pops in the air, and it's going to be a kick in for Denmark. Sullivan very close to being within five meters of the ball. She backs away just a little bit. Denmark restarting play again. That ball off of Donner, and they're just going to kick it essentially from where they did just a moment ago. Nice move, Sorensen the pass across. Peterson, Peterson with a shot, save Flanagan. Wonderful shot, but very heads up play by Flanagan to save that. That could have been devastating for Ireland had that shot gone through. Ball still in play, O'Sullivan loses it. Peterson trying to work his way around McNichol, close to a two on one violation. Advantage called Peterson, the kick out, Sorensen, the shot saved by Donner. Heavy contact, and we are going to get a foul on the play on Tom Donner. Let's watch this replay of the shot from Peterson earlier. Wonderful shot. And Flanagan, very good save there. That ball was coming in at a high rate of speed. Now an indirect, or actually a direct free kick coming up for Denmark. Peterson with a shot. That ball bounces around.
And it's going to be a free kick. Nice pass, O'Sullivan back to McNichol. McNichol back to O'Sullivan, and she gathers the ball, looking to kick it out, but it's right to Sorensen. Good defensive position, but now he leaves McNichol over to Donner. Donner with a shot, saved by Peterson. Denmark on the counterattack, and a foul on Sorensen, and it looks like we are going to see our first yellow card of the competition. The Denmark number seven, Mark Gordner, Sorensen, yellow card. And now Flanagan, the goalkeeper for Ireland, out on the attack. Free kick for Ireland. Let's see if uh, Sorensen can cut this ball off because there is no one guarding the Irish goal area right now. Donner with a pass across. O'Sullivan really wide away. Donner, not quite sure what he was trying to accomplish there. Bounce off the back of his chair. Heavy contact, McNichol and Peterson. Lots of space for McNichol to kick out. Donner tries to go across, but Peterson's there to cut off that pass. Not a lot of pace to get across the goal area. And that ball is just going to roll out for an Ireland kick in. Ireland still well within striking distance of this contest. They're only down two. Still a lot of time. We're only in the 27th minute right now. McNichol trying to get herself situated again. This is the second time that she's kind of moved out of position in her chair. And for a lot of us, if you're in this chair and you move just the slightest bit out of position, it's really hard to maintain control. So now she's back. Sorensen blocks off that pass. Nicely done. Good turn by Sorensen. Donner recovers. Nice move. Sorensen one-on-one -on -one with Flanagan. Sorensen, can he get around Flanagan? McNichol is there in the goal area. And that ball's going out for a kick in. That was indeed the correct call. Oh, and Patrick Flanagan, not a good kick, and that's going to give Denmark a great opportunity to add another goal. This is going to be a dangerous kick in. That ball off of Sorensen, not a good set play for Denmark. So kicking coming up for Ireland. And we're actually going to get a two-on-one violation called on Ireland. So this is going to be an indirect free kick for Denmark. Looks like uh, Denmark going for another... 180 spin kick shot here. Let's see what happens. Sometimes the idea is to just get that ball bouncing around in the goal area and hope that you get a lucky break. Peterson across. Oh, and that ball just barely passed the post. And Sorensen knows he missed an opportunity to add a third goal. Let's watch that again. That ball just skimmed right across, and Sorensen just didn't really make a move on the ball at all. Donner into Nabizada. It's going to go out for an Ireland kick in. 30th minute. 
And although there's still some time left, Ireland really need to get some kind of offensive momentum going here. They just haven't really been able to find anything. And again, this is kind of similar to how their first half went. They started off really strong and then Denmark kind of took over and they just haven't been able to find anything since. Contact on Donaher. And it looks like we're going to get a substitution. Naglas Monvilas coming into the match. And it looks like he will be taking over for Afa McNichol. Substitution Ireland. Player out in Afa McNichol. Player in number 11, Naglas Monvilas. And, so, and so now it looks like Donner is going to take over in the middle. That pass cut off by Monfiles. Nicely done by Monfiles. Peterson cut off by Donner. Donner manages to keep it in and a kick in coming up. That one touching off of Donner last. Monvilas, close to a two on one violation on Denmark. Kick in coming up. And we also have a substitution coming up. It looks like Turbion Kradup coming back into the match. Coming in for Mark Kronerup Sorensen. Ireland going to take this kick in. Monvilas off of Jensen. And Monvilas will take another kick. Thirty third minute. Ireland trying to get their first goal of this competition. But it hasn't been easy as Denmark have Played extremely well. Coming up next, France versus Finland. Monvilas down to Donner. Donner back up to Monvilas. Monvilas, that ball off of Krarup. Flanagan's just going to let that roll out for an Ireland goal kick. Monvilas sends that ball down the floor, but it's going to go out for a Denmark goal kick. Donner off of Krarup. Monvilas is trying to get that ball out of the area, but Krarup doing very well to keep it in. That kick across, no one there for Denmark to receive it. Nice move by Monvilas. Trying to turn 
Foke and Patterson, and he's got him. That ball kicked out. Navizada, a slow turn. Imro Sullivan just closing down the space, preventing from preventing Navizada from taking a kick. Donner off the front of his chair now gives Navizada an opportunity to pass across. Krarup takes that ball. Donner strips it away. The pass across to Montvilas. And it looks like Montvilas kind of, well, he, he lost his balance there. It looks like there's a pin that holds the anti-tip wheels in place. And it looks like that thing has gone missing. So we're going to have a momentary stoppage in play while we get Nagos Monvilas back in order. 36th minute. And time running out for Ireland to get any kind of scoring going. O'Sullivan with the ball. O'Sullivan decides to carry the ball a little bit. The pass over to Montvilas. Back over to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan off of Krarup. That one looked like it bounced off his arm. Navizada trying to turn the ball around O'Sullivan. Trying to get it around Navizada. Farzad Navizada loses the ball. Imro O'Sullivan now. The kick out to Montvilas. Montvilas trying to get it over back to O'Sullivan, but Foka Peterson turning Montvilas back around. Ball still in play. Oh, and Montvilas touches that ball out, and now Denmark applying pressure once again to that Ireland defense. Peterson. Kicks that ball across. Flanagan cuts it off. And now Krarup trying to drive Monvilas back towards the Ireland goal area. Nicely done. Nagels Monvilas to read that play. Not enough power on that pass. Donner's got it, though, for Ireland. Montvilas, the shot down the floor, and Imer O'Sullivan not there to collect it. 38th minute. We've got a substitution coming up for Denmark. Looks like Farzad Navizada coming off. Simon Damtov Christensen coming on. Substitution at Denmark on number nine, Farzad Navizada. And in number 92, Simon Damtov Christensen. Nicely done. Peterson still moving down the floor with the ball. We have another substitution this time for Ireland. It looks like coming into the match is Sean Donner in place of Emer O'Sullivan. Substitution Ireland out number three, Emer O'Sullivan, and in number six, Sean Gallagher. Peterson, that ball off of Tom Donner, another shot, and that ball wide. Fortieth minute. 
And Denmark, barring a miracle, look like they're going to come away with all three points here. Sean Donner misses that passing opportunity, and that's going to go out for a goal kick. Donner with a shot. Donner, oh, and that one just nicked by Peterson. Good shot by Sean Donner. Sean Donner really missing the target on that kick. Donner, cut off by Krarup. Tom Donner trying to work that ball around. Krarup's got it. The kick out. Pedersen with a shot off of Sean Donner. And the deflection comes back all the way towards the Denmark goal area. And it's going to roll out for a goal kick. We're in the second minute of added time here. And referee Mark Harrison looks at his watch. Tom Donner with the pass all the way across Mount Vilas. Krarup stops that ball. Tom Donner comes diving in for it. Now Krarup going to take the ball away, going around Sean Donner. Oh, Sean Donner sends the ball the wrong way, and now he's got to go back and chase after it. Mark Harrison blows the final whistle. Denmark, two first half goals are enough to seal three points. The final score, 2-0 over Ireland. We're going to take a quick break. In about 15 minutes, we have our next match. The hosts, Finland, take on the defending world and European champions, France. You're watching the 2019 EPA Nations Cup. We'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you. 